Hello everyone, my name is Jules and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. In the last episode we finished off the Forest Temple and in this episode um, I've decided to open up in Ordon Village because there is one thing that I didn't actually realize you could do until a few days ago in fact. And so here we are outside of the hut house thing where you bought the slingshot from and it's also kind of important because this is where Beth's parents live and Beth was one of the kids who was taken away by the Bublins and King Bublin and if we go in here we have this really sad music playing and Link are you okay oh good that's good, my dear. But please, you must tell me, you haven't seen the children, have you? Immediately after you left, we were attacked by beastly monsters. I hesitate to ask, but I must. Please save the children, Link. Oh, I know. Is there anything I can do for you? Please take a look around and... Um, you know, I'm checking my items. I can't right now, but I think... Oh no, that, that was lantern oil. Um, I actually think that buying some milk would be a good idea because it is super cheap. And uh, this gives us two helpings. Um, I don't think I mentioned this last time we got milk, but uh, milk comes with two helpings. We used it up right away because we only had half a bottle. Um, and how many bottles do we have? Um, we have one, but it has lantern oil in it. I mean one more bottle, but it's lantern oil in Anyway, uh, something that I should also mention that we got last episode was we finally have four heart containers and now we effectively have two because we are playing on hero mode. Okay, um, actually there might be something in this house. Um, well the first, what do you say? Link, you're okay. Do you know what happened? You haven't seen the tykes, have you? These monsters stormed in here and carried them off, all of them. Ilya, the little ones, all of them. Russell got hurt pretty bad too. The mayor's gone looking for the kids, but he's getting on in years, you know? I'm worried about him. You gotta search for the tykes, please, and... Is there anyone in here? Because... I forget... Okay, there might be. I think that uh, these people are Tallow and Mallow's parents. Link. The children. The children were by monsters. Yeah. You know, come to think of it though, I have been playing this game for about. Ten, let's see, yeah, 2008. So more like nine years now. Closing in on ten, nine and a half. I have never actually seen Tello and Mallow's mom. And... Yeah, that, that was kind of a solemn moment to first meet her after all of these years. Even though she is like a very minor character. And there's one more house. And that would be Collins right up here. Yeah, so I don't know if Russell will be here as well. I forget. Okay, they both are. Link! Oh, at last! What a pleasant surprise! You're safe, at least. Hmm. The monsters! Be, be, be gone! The silence of this village. Does it not chill as it does me? While you were gone, we were set upon by evil creatures. I suppose you have already heard, but the children and poor Ilya, they were taken. We were all worried that perhaps you had been taken as well. Oh, but I'm sorry. As much as I would like to give you these tidings to my husband, he has fallen asleep. But 
It truly is a fine thing to see you return. I am sure everyone will be pleased to see you again, if you were to stop and say hello. And... Yeah, he's all wounded up, and... This is kind of a... Oh, Link! That sword! The evil creep. Oh wait, is that... His wife, the, he was asleep. I did the wrong voice. The evil creature stole it from Russell, but you got it back? How wonderful. I know it is safe in your hands. And, yeah. Um, I hate to break it to you, but we kind of stole the sword back when everyone thought that we were one of the evil creatures because people here really hate wolves. It's like wolves are dangerous to humans. Who to thunk? Anyway, I'm going to meet you back where we should be, which is at the edge of the Farron Woods. So, okay, so we are back here by, I forget Forest Tippy's name. I think it's like Koro or something. Anyway, we are back here with Forest Tippy, and do you actually have anything new to say to us? Um, hey guy, how's the oil level in your lantern? And yeah, I don't really want my lantern to get filled up because we will only be using it in one more dungeon. Uh, and if we go through this gate, we are going to enter my favorite of something that is reoccurring in the Zelda universe. And as soon as we get through this stretch, I'm gonna kill these problems. Welcome to my favorite incarnation of Hyrule Field. Now I know Breath of the Wild has an amazing Hyrule Field, but this one I look through with nostalgia goggles, so everything looks better. <laughs> and we have one of these things that drop bonds. Um, yeah, I'm just going to ignore them. They are much harder to kill than it is to actually get hit by one. And yeah, you can see that on our map in the lower left corner, but there is a flag indicating where we need to go and I'm going to kill you. We need to head over to that flag in the map, like I just said. Oh, actually, hang on there. There is actually one thing that we can do here. There are a few things we can get, and I see one off in the distance, so I'm going to be getting that. Once I kill more Bacoblins, I'll spin attack you too. Oh, I need to end blow both of you. Uh, I don't like having to do this. Oh, and um, yeah, these things um, are called Karkaroks, I think. I used to call them Hemorrhoks because that is what they're called in Wind Waker. And, yeah, they, they aren't called that. That's kind of all there is to it. They're called Karkaroks, I think. If not, then I'll have their actual name on screen. Anyway, we have another piece of heart. We have our fourth, and that does not actually give us another heart container, because we need one more. And we probably won't be getting it anytime soon. So let's just head off. Oh, I love this character. Oh, he is one of my favorite characters. Go no further. There's a black wall ahead of the rocks on the way. I don't know if that's what I actually said, but I'm talking to like this really weird accent. And I thought I would deliver a few letters, but that seemed impossible. I am the honorable and dependable letter carrier known as the Postman. Now that I've introduced myself, please take this letter and read it at your leisure. To read letter, to read a letter, press down and open up the collection screen to select your letter. You can now read letters that you receive and I'm going to stop trying to read because, yeah, and well, business is concluded onward to mail. That sounds like a good voice for him. I've always imagined him to sound something like that. And yeah, so if we press down and go to our collection screen, we now have a new thing and we can now read letters. And yes, the postman is a thing, and in this game, 
He's kind of strange, although not, not as strange as he is in a certain Zelda game, which I actually might LP sometime in the future because it's my favorite Zelda game. This one is only my second favorite. I won't say which one that is. And also, I'm not like announcing the Phoenix. Actually, I actually haven't decided what my third LP is because it is way too early because we are on like episode, I think, nine of this game. My boy. Hey, it was much closer than I thought. Mom. You remember, right? Yeah. You know what this is. If you set foot here, you might be a wolf again for quite some time. For at least as long as it takes for you to save the light of Elden from the twilight anyway. So, shall we go into the light? Should we go to see the light spirit Elden? Yee and now, we are about to set foot into the one bit of twilight that I'm not really too fond of. Like, I don't like thoroughly hate it, but hang on. And yes, let's go into the twilight. Yeah, this is one of my least favorite parts of one of my favorite games, so I guess I'm kind of neutral about it overall. But yeah, we're about to turn into a wolf again. And any minute now. There. Although we do get to be wolfling again, which I do really like. I like wolfling. That's a good boy. Now, you need to listen to what I say from now on. Oh look how lovely the black clouds of twilight are. So fetching today. I've never heard someone use fetching that way. Although I guess I kind of have in... Mean Girls, how like uh, one of the characters, Scratchin, like always says like that's so fetch. I always found that to be a little funny. Um, anyway, I feel so much more at ease, and you, and you look so much better than you do in your dusty old clothes. Anyway, <laughs> hey, we just got those. They're only from a hero from like a hundred plus years ago. Anyway. Here we have a pretty familiar object, so that really crappy sword that Russell got us, or gave us before we had the Orden Sword, well, yeah, although I don't remember it having the hilt. Although we now have the youth scent, and that is a, hang on, see, isn't being in wolf form more convenient? Now you can use X to hone your senses. You've begun to reawaken as a wolf, I think. Hee <laughs> hee. So this is a mechanic that is just in Twilight Princess because, I mean, you need to be a wolf and there's a shadow beast ahead. But anyway, we now have the use, the youth's scent. I'm saying that correctly now. And basically what this does is we can now we now have their scent trail and we can figure out just where they are so let's turn off our senses so that we can actually see stuff and we have more shadow beasts oh no oh no um okay i'm still one okay yeah that that won't work <laughs> that but that will not work Oh, I really don't want to get a game over. Okay. I got I got one of you. Okay, we have both of them down. There. What's this? That's strange. The bridge is gone. I wonder if this works. I wonder if this is the work of those shadow creatures. Oh, what a pain. Anyway, let's look for it. You get out your map. So. And yeah, the yellow marker is where you is. She's showing us how to use the map. However, all of the places where we killed shadow beasts, well, those are now our warp points, so whenever we are in wolf form, we can warp in and out of twilight, or just anywhere around where we have defeated Shadow Beast. So, yeah, those are portals, Mendez explaining that I just did, it's really not that complicated. So, we need to go to the North Farron Woods, and 
If anyone wants to hear something about me being really dumb as a child... So, you are supposed to find a bridge, and there are three places where you can warp to to find one, and Midna has something to say here. See, I told you, we're here. You know, most of the people can't leave Twilight that easily. You'd better be grateful. And yeah, we need to look for a bridge. Although first, I want to see if that bird is here. Okay, yeah, because when we're in uh, the Fair and Twilight, I thought I was confused because there was no bird here, and I must have been remembering, like, the bird being here when you were here and not Twilight. But yeah, so you were supposed to find a bridge, and if you want to hear that story of me being dumb as a child, I warped to every single place, and I could not find a bridge. Yes. I could not find this bridge. Like, I noticed it, but I thought that it was going to, like, I don't come down. I thought that it was a drawbridge for some reason, even though it wasn't here when we were in Twilight. And... Uh, it's just so painful. And it's now up on the internet for everyone to see. So let's press L and warp it. And wow, this is perfect, don't you think? What do you think? Should we take it? And yes. Oh yeah, and I'm not sure if Midna had done her whole L thing. I'm not sure if I actually got close enough to the bridge or if I was so oblivious that I didn't even notice it. So... Yeah, we need to warp this to Kakariko Gorge. And... Midna's hand magic. I don't really know what to call it, but... I really like Midna's hand on the back of her head. That is the most random thing I could possibly say with still being in context, but I really like Midna's hand. See? Just as I thought. <laughs> so, isn't the power of Twilight amazing? Call me if you need the power again. It should help you find what you're looking for, don't you think? Alright, let's keep going. And now we can cross this bridge and follow the scent. Although I know where it is, and I know where this is leading us. And there are some Twilight Bublins. Although they're technically Dark Bublins. You know, they're called Dark Bublins, that is their official name. I was always called them Twilight whatever the enemy is. I will just call them Twilight whatever for the entire LP. So, there. And there are two more and, huh. What are they doing over there? This is a pretty elaborate gate. What are they trying to keep in or out? And yeah, we can dig there, so let us do that. And yeah, I'm just going to ignore you. And they have some really, really weird enemy cries. I've always found those noises to be really weird. It sounds nothing like the bubble. Like, like the Karkarok sound the same in... Actually, do they sound the same in Twilight? I've never actually paid attention to that, because neither of the cries are really that weird. I don't next time we- and I remember what the Twilight one is, it's slightly more memorable, but once we run into a regular Karkarok, um, I will compare them. And yeah, there were Shadow Beasts, and we got those without too much trouble. And we have found the spirit spring to the hero who was transformed into a blue-eyed beast in the realm of shadows in twilight. This way. 
So we need to talk to the spirit again. And I am a spirit of light, hero chosen by the gods. Look for my light. Gather the light stolen by the shadows into this. And we have our vessel of light for the Elden area. And we know how this works because we did the Farron one like three episodes ago. And the insects of darkness. They are all the form taken. They are the form taken by the evil that attached itself to my scattered light. In this shadowy twilight, the shadow insects are invisible, much as the people from the light world are. With the last of my power, let me mark your map with the locations of the tears that have turned into shadow insects. But be careful, the darkness now hunts you. So we now have our vessel of light and I believe that this is a great place to end the episode off. So next episode, we are going to be doing probably one of my least favorite things in this game, which is, well, we're going to be hunting down Tears of Light in Kakeriko, in the real Kakeriko village. And anyway, I will see you all then. Goodbye. Hmm.